movies gives you these ideas that jumping down from a car is something that you know you can do it and you know you roll and jumping out of a car did you say right yeah. yes i kind of know where this story is going this is a bad story <laughs> Welcome back to the four-way stop, guys. Who do we got in the backseat today? My name is Noel. Nice to meet you. You were telling me before you had kind of a funny story about a bad taxi ride. I'm not proud of it. I was maybe 17, 18, okay. something like that before college. Well before rideshare. This was like almost 15, 20 years ago. Movies gives you these ideas that jumping down from a car is something that, you know, you can do it and, you know, you roll and... Jumping out of a car, did you say? Right, yeah. yes. I kind of know where this story is going. This is a bad story. Basically, I was wasted from a dance club that I went with some friends. One of my friends put me in a cab, so like, see you tomorrow. I'm midway through the ride. I realized that I don't have my wallet, my phone, like, and nothing. That'll be $5. Sorry, lost my wallet. But I already cut your hair. Yeah, well, guess there's nothing you can do about it now. Okay, I don't have money, so then, you know, I need to leave the car. And it was not really something very well thought, but I decided to jump from the car. The sequence that I had in my head, I'm sure that from the driver's experience, this was very different, so he probably only heard mumbling and then someone, like, randomly jumping out of the car. But we were, like, midway in an avenue, and I opened the door. I wanted to say, I'm sorry, I don't have any money, and I jumped. And that's kind of what I did in my head. Tuck and roll. Yeah. I always say. <laughs> Obviously, it was not Mel Gibson in Lethal Whip and out. It, that doesn't happen. I fall through the ground like a bag of potatoes. You know, I jumped. It was a very painful experience. How fast do you think you were going? It was not very fast, so maybe like 20 miles an hour, if so, because we were going on an avenue. It was not super fast. I remember like falling through the ground. Everything was hurting. Obviously, the taxi driver stopped 10 meters away, and I am Argentinian, so this was in Argentina and Buenos Aires back in the day, so I hopefully, you know, I'm able to reach out to the taxi driver and hopefully pay for the ride. I jump from the car, taxi driver stops, and I remember seeing the, the taxi driver watching at me to see if I was safe. He was still in the car, and the moment that I stood up, he drive away. He kind of vanishes, and maybe, I don't know, he thought I was dead. The only lesson that I want to pass by, don't jump out of cars, and make sure that you have your wallet before. You can just order a car, your car's right, already on exactly. there. Today's world is much easier. Awesome. Well, thanks all for coming out and telling that story. That was amazing. Don't jump out of a car, guys. Yeah, no, thank you so much. I, I think it's great. The whole notion of the podcast and this creative space that you put it together. So this is amazing. Thank you yeah, so much. I love it.